नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर शशि कला राव वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ प्लैनेटरी पोजिशन एट दी बैड टाइम वंस दी एक्यूरेट लग्न इज कैलकुलेटेड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फिक्स दी पोजिशन ऑफ दी नाइन प्लैनेट्स एट दी बैड टाइम ऑफ दी ने इन दी राशि कुंडली फॉर दिस कैलकुलेशन द पंचांग ऑफ द रिक्वायर्ड ईयर और एनुअल एफ्यूमरीज ऑफ द रिक्वायर्ड ईयर इज नेसेसरी द पंचांग ऑफ द ईयर एंड द annual ephemeris provide the longitude of all planets at 5:30 am in ist every day as we observe from the earth planets do not move at a regular speed at all time the speed may increase or decrease with time we can observe two types of motion of a planet first one direct motion or forward motion second one retrograde motion or backward motion Retrograde motion is an apparent motion. A planet in a retrograde motion appears to move backward. Out of nine planets, five planets such as Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn become retrograde when placed at a certain distance from the Sun. Sun and Moon will never have a retrograde motion. Rahu and Ketu are always in retrograde motion. We can calculate the planetary position. at the required time using manual calculation which i have explained in my earlier video we can calculate the planetary position with the assistance of proportional logarithms today i will invite one of the astrologer mr abhinandan keshav welcome abhinandan keshav for this session he will explain the method how to calculate the planetary positions using proportional logarithms sure i will explain the method of how to calculate the planetary position using proportional logarithms i will consider an example chart date of birth is 17 12 2021 time of birth is 2 15 pm and place of birth is bangalore now we can calculate the nirayana planetary position or graha sputa for this birth detail by using the yearly ephemeris or panchanga for the year 2021 the nirayana planetary position readings were obtained from the ephemeris as mentioned at 5:30 a.m. in IST but the time of birth of the native is 2:15 p.m. in IST so the difference between these two timings is 8 hours 45 minutes for calculation of the longitudes of all planets it is not necessary to convert the IST to LMT as we follow in the calculation of the lagna the place of birth is important for calculating the lagna or the ascendant the position of the planets in the sky depends on date and time not on place of birth the nirayana position are given in ist there is no need for correction of time to the local time now we have to find the nirayana planetary position for the date of birth which is 17 12 2021 at 2:15 pm but in the ephemeris the planetary positions are given at 5:30 am every day how to find the planetary position for 2:15 pm on 17 12 2021 so the procedure is to find the movement of the planets for 24 hours by selecting the two consecutive dates from the ephemeris usually the date of birth and the next date to the date of birth is taken for interpolation then we can find the movement of the planets for 8 hours and 45 minutes 
In this case, the longitude of planets at 5:30 a.m. on 17/12/2021 and 18/12/2021 are considered. The difference between the two longitudes of the planets give the daily motion of the planets. Rahu and Ketu are always in retrograde motion. Therefore, this negative sign indicates the backward or retrograde motion of the planets. Similarly, if any planet is in retrograde motion, we get a negative sign. To find the movement of the planets for 8 hours 45 minutes, I will make use of this proportional logarithms table, which you can find in the book Lahari's Indian Ephemeris. In the proportional logarithms table, logarithm values are given for longitude of planets in degree and minutes. The same table can be used for hours and minutes. In this proportional logarithms table, in vertical columns, logarithm values for 0 degree to 23 degrees or 0 to 23 hours and in horizontal rows, logarithms values for 0 to 59 minutes are listed. This is the procedure to find the position of sun on 17-12-2021 at 2.15 pm. From the ephemeris, the longitude of the sun on 18-12-2021 at 5.30 am is 242 degrees 07 minutes. Note this value and the longitude of the sun on 17-12-2021 at 5.30 am is 241 degrees 06 minutes. Note this value. The difference between the longitudes of the sun for 24 hours is 1 degree 1 minute. This value gives the movement of sun in 24 hours. Mark this as A. We have the reading of sun's position from the ephemeris as mentioned at 5.30 am in IST. But the time of birth of the native is 2.15 pm in IST. The time difference between 5.30 am and the time of birth is 8 hours 45 minutes. Mark this as B. Find log of A and log of B. The value of A is 1 degree 1 minute. The log of 1 degree 1 minute is 1.3730. The log of 1 degree 1 minute is 1.3730. Note this value. Find log of B. The value of B is 8 hours 45 minutes. The log of 8 hours 45 minutes is 0 0.4382. The log of 8 hours and 45 minutes is 0 0.4382. Note this value. Now add log A and log B which is 1.8112 and then find the antilog for 
we will make use of the same log table in reverse to find the anti log when the exact value is not available in the table then take the nearest value in this case the nearest value for 1.8112 is 1.8159 and find the anti log for this value that is 1.8159 read between the row and column to find the anti log for 1.8159 it falls in 0 degree and 22 minutes therefore anti log for 1.8159 is 0 degree 22 minutes note this value this anti log indicates that the movement of sun in 8 hours 45 minutes add this value of 0 degree 22 minute to the longitude of the sun on 17 12 2021 at 5:30 am so we get the longitude of the sun as of 17 12 at 2:15 pm therefore the longitude of the sun as of 17 12 at 2:15 pm is 2:41 degrees 28 minutes this degree falls in the sagittarius sign mura nakshatra first pada in the natural zodiac adopt this method for calculating the longitudes of the remaining planets which are moon mars mercury jupiter venus saturn and rahu you can calculate the nirayana position for ketu by adding 180 degrees to the longitude of rahu because ketu is always six signs or 180 degree away from rahu finally you will get the nirayana position or grahasputa of all the planets as of 17 12 2021 at 2:15 pm this is how we can calculate the planetary positions or grahasputa using proportional logarithms i hope you understood this method thank you namaste thank you for your nice explanation thank you viewers for watching this video give your valuable comments namaste